the ultimatum of Hulagu Khan to the Caliph of Baghdad. At the time of the conquest of the castles of the heretics, we sent envoys to you seeking for reinforcements. You replied that you were our subordinate, yet you did not send troops. The sign of subordination and concord is that you send troops when we campaign against the enemy, but you did not do so and sent only excuses. Even though your family is august and venerable, and your house has experienced rule and fortune, yet could the moon have shone so brightly that it eclipsed the blazing sun? Surely you have heard from both high and low what has befallen the world and its inhabitants from the time of Chinggis Khan until now, and what humiliation was visited upon the great houses such as the Kfarman Shahs, the Saljuks, the kings of Dailam, the Atabaks, and others through the power of the everlasting eternal God. The gates of Baghdad were never closed to any one of those groups, and they all had seats of power there. With all our strength and might, how can they be closed to us? Previously we have advised you, and we do so now again. Refrain from rancor and obstinacy. Do not attempt what you cannot do, nor ignore what is manifest, for you will be sorry. In any case, let bygones be bygones. Now, destroy your ramparts and fill in your moats, entrust the rule to your son and come to us in person. Should you not wish to come yourself, send the minister, Suleiman Shah, and the marshal, all three, so that they might deliver our message to you verbatim. Indeed, when our order is obeyed, it will not be necessary to extract retribution and you shall retain your land, army, and subjects. If you do not heed our advice and intend to oppose and resist us, ready your army and choose the battlefield, for we are prepared and girded for battle. When I lead my army against Baghdad in fury, whether you hide in the heavens or on the earth, I will bring you down from the spinning spheres. I will toss you in the air like a lion. I will leave no one alive in your realm. I will burn your city and your lands. If you wish to spare yourself and your venerable family, listen to my advice with the ear of intelligence. If you do not, you will see what God has willed.